Hi, this is Jared from ShoeGnome, and tonight we're going to talk about some cool things we can do with slabs. Um, so what we're looking at right, right now is the lobby for um, a building I put together for a walkthrough. And in this lobby, if we just kind of look around, you know, it's kind of basic stuff. Chairs, lamps, TVs with client names on it, a QR code that actually works if you take a picture of that with your cell phone, a uh, bowl of apples and some flowers, and maybe a book on a, a nice Mies coffee table. But over in this corner right here, uh, I don't know what to do. I thought, okay, reception desk, but uh, how do you make up an imaginary reception desk? It's just easy to make them look clunky and dumb. So I kind of took my cues from some Alvar Alto furniture and made this kind of curvy organic desk. So I'm going to now select these three things hit uh, for me F4 and now we're just looking at just that part of the model. So if we look at this, you know, there's kind of some some nice little curves to it. Um, what we're looking at is just a slab. Um, so what's nice about slabs and I, um, is you can click on an edge and let's get that pet palette to come back up. Um, so I clicked on that edge, you can see we can you know, add another one there. And you can go to custom edge settings and pet palette. And you can do two things. You can define a material. So we could say I want that to be um, instead of wood maple, surf paint flat. And then you can change the angle of that. So instead of being 90 degrees, you can make it kind of whatever crazy angle you want. So in that case, I made it 70 and it cut itself down like that pretty interestingly. I'm just going to undo that. So what's, what's neat with that is you can start defining slabs and making some funky shapes. So what we're looking at here is a, a curved slab um, that's been a solid element operation cutting it down. Um, but by taking a curved slab and then giving each face of it uh, a subtle angle, um, we're basically just starting to create this organic shape which I think just adds a nice little, I don't know, flavor to that desk. Um, so that's kind of neat. And I, in experimenting with that, I kind of took it a, a step too further and made this weird shape here. And if we look at that in 3D, you can start to imagine this is maybe tree stump-like. I don't know why you'd ever need this shape in ArchiCAD, but to think, okay, this is just a slab. We're used to slabs just being dumb rectangles, but this object and this object are fundamentally the same thing, so I don't know what you can do with it, but maybe someone watching this video will come up with an idea, but um, I think it's pretty neat. Okay, so that's a little fantastic, um, somewhat useless unless you're doing some pretty furniture pieces like that, but where can slabs actually use that um, custom side with the angle for something useful and cool. Well, how about curb cuts? This right here is one slab. There's no solid element operations or anything. Um, it is just custom angles. So I'm going to close this for a second. Looking on plan, it's this thing. Let's now just go to 3D just looking at that. Um, I've set this side right here to be 173. If we did that as 90, you can see it's uh, one select. Um, it's just a flat edge, um, but by setting it to 173, we're just making it slope um, to get the sides. Of that also sloping. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, I've set those sides to 160 so they angle in. If we did that at, say, 90, you would have a flat side curb cut, which is also, you know, doable. Um, so I'll just do that randomly to one side just so we can see again what I'm talking about. I'm going to select that side. I'm going to use that option, um, pet pellet kind of defaulted to that. I'm going to go to other angle, set that to say 160, and now I'm getting a nice angled side. So you could even imagine if you're doing curbs and you just wanted everything around there to be that slope, you could 
create some pretty nice easy um, slopes on the edge of your curves and the edge of your slabs and get some nice easy modeling effect. Um, so I guess that's all for tonight. Some interesting ways to do slabs. I hope you learned something and I will have more videos for you guys uh, soon I'm sure. Thanks.